Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Rob, and I'm back uh, sleeving up and showcasing some of my big Rookie Explosion hits from last break. Uh, so I'm going to start off with this Matt Chapman here, up-and-coming player with Matt Olson at third base. He's, you know, uh, holding it down at first base. And uh, this is in really good condition. I really like this card. Um, and it's one to just hold on to. This is out of 17 Tops Update. Uh, let's go with this one. This one is also pretty minty. It's a Miguel Andujar with the 93, I believe. Um, coming attractions. So, pretty cool. Um, he's looking to have a bounce back year after I think injuring his shoulder. Let's see, I also got a rainbow foil of Ryan Zimmerman. Still staying on the Nationals. He used to be a, a masher. Um, now he's just really staying on the league. So um, let's go on to the Austin Meadows. Austin Meadows is a player that has a lot of potential to really do well. He's now for the Rays, of course. He was traded with the next guy I'm going to talk about, which is Tyler Glass now for Chris Archer. So this is a rookie debut. Not all that great, but it's really interesting that I pulled two players that have got traded for one player, essentially. All right. Um, oh, I forgot these here. This was the Ian Happ rookie card. You know, I don't know um, how much this is banking but it's got a lot of damage on the right side if you see and so there's that i'm not really too worried about that we got a gary sanchez and you'd probably be like what's so great about this but there's a lot of variations and if you look you can see that is 57 that is a regular short print so that's Pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's go with the Bregman. I know everybody is a big Astros fan. This is my third <laughs> Alex Bregman card from his rookie. I bought two um, variations from, I believe, Series 1. And so this is cool. There is just the rookie card. There's no um, rookie cup. And we've got the Eric Thames. Not that great condition. You can guys can see that right corner. I see the right corner mostly and the left corner, but generally the bottom, I guess, since you know you don't really put it down, maybe that's less prevalent to have damage over there. But that's a 221 out of 250. Eric Thames, former brewer. I forgot where he is now. You guys can let me know in the comments. All right, Philip Irvin. So I was—I thought this was a black at first when I started looking at it again. Uh, Philip Irvin is not big of a a guy, but um, it is numbered at a sixty-six. So one of my lower pulls. I think the only other time I pulled a lower card was probably the Mother's Day and the uh, Memorial Day camo. So that is a cool card. I have it in a nice little graded car sleeve. Uh, let's go with um, the judges here. So this is the more valuable one, but as you guys can see, there is a nick on the right corner, little white showing. But I did also find the ASG, which I do have own already, and that is really good condition. Both cards are nice cards to have. Two Aaron Judges. And we also have two Cody Bellingers. But instead of two rookie cards, we have a non-rookie and we have the base update. Um, this is the one to really get because it has the stats on the back, the batting record. And this one is just how he did in the home run derby. 
So all in all, really good break. I mean, I probably spent 40 bucks on that and I probably got, you know, maybe my money back. So that's really good. Also, we had a, a Randy Johnson here too, Untouchables. So I know talking about the big hits, uh, let's do our mail day and we're going to talk a little bit about um, the giveaway coming up. So I believe I know what this card is, but you guys will keep in suspense here. Okay, there you go. All right, and it just comes with a card. It is, yep, it's a Kesson Hira. That's gonna be the, I believe, on demand. So I like that too. So they got to an improbable finish. And uh, went to the playoffs. Sorry about that. Let me turn on the light again. And so that is awesome, too. I, I want to pick up that card. We got some from uh, Striker Breaks here. So we've got a lot. And I pulled in a team break. I have not seen these cards previously here so um this will be the first time i did watch this break okay looks like we've got some hits i'm gonna keep the hits down here and we've got our regular base cards so let's pull this out here very protected oh shoot okay Break, uh, I think it costs about maybe 30 something bucks, and he gave a nice coupon, so very nice of Striker. You're gonna see a lot of base, a lot of Sunny Grays, a lot of everybody. Okay, wonderful. All right, so thank you for. Breaking with Striker, I got the Orioles, the Reds, and the Rangers. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't think I got any rainbow foils, but to get a lot of rookie cards here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nick Solak cards, so uh, our Solak, I'm not really for sure. That's pretty cool. A Joey Gallo, I don't believe I have that one. Also, we've got the Joey Gallo home run challenge. I'll put that to the side here. All right. So regular base. That is the flag. Uh, when Anthony Santander of the uh, Maryland flag. That's really nice. Okay. Oh, the hands are Alberto. We've got the camo of that. I don't see many of the no foil, but they do, I think, occur most often in retail. So these are just base cards at this point. Oh, we got a Cal Ripken. Decades best. Uh, Castillo and a Peraza. Okay. So that's it for that one here. Whoops. <laughs> okay. This is probably where we're looking. He gave me one uh, mega box. Coupon and two Super Pack opening day coupons. Uh, you can use these interchangeably if there's a Topps product. Um, don't tell anybody, but it's pretty advantageous to use this 
on other cards, but I will try to use it on some opening day cards. Very cool. All right, let's just go through the base once again. Sunny Gray. We've got a Vado. We've got a 69 uh, Vado. Number dot 69. A Nick Senzel. Like that card. Oh, okay. A Nick Senzel 2020. Very cool. All right. Looks like a Castillo. Iglesias. Trevor Bauer, who... Uh, let's see how he does. Let's see how he does. Castillo, Vato. All right, we got a Barry Larkin card. And a Castillo, a Luis Castillo. Turkey Red and a Vato. Um, 84, 85. Sorry, 85. You see his stats went really down last year. Uh, but he still hit 15 home runs. So you got that. All right, so let's uh, get to our hits. We really didn't pull much of anything because I have that card here. But let's look through. Uh, bought two teams and ended up getting three teams. So that's really nice how I got both the Rangers and the Orioles because they didn't have enough players to really fill up one. I like how he uses the... Um, tape the uh, painter's tape because they don't really leave any residue when I start mailing cards I will do that also okay so an Aristides Aquino put that right here we got the base Aquino the base Aquino and the base Aquino so I quite a bit and now I have a lot more okay that's great Awesome, I just put one of them over here. Oops, okay. The Barry Larkin, I believe I had that in the blue, so it's a little bit more rare. So if you guys want to, you can go to strikerbreaks.com and check out Striker. He is on YouTube at Striker Breaks and the one striker at gmail.com. Pretty good hits. Um, you know, these are cards I'm going to probably hold on to. With Aquino being what he is, too. And so, uh, really nice. Uh, so, the last thing I want to talk about, too, is going to be our uh, rookie giveaway. And, um, you know, for the longtime fans, uh, we've got, again, the schmutz on face right there of Brendan McKay. Uh, do you know what? Maybe that's a really good card. I don't know. We got a Keston Hero rookie card out of Bowman Chrome. I like that one. A Scott Kingery. He's got some potential. That's going to be numbered 645. An Alex Verdugo, newly traded to the Boston Red Sox, who he used to be a part of, David Price. Very good. A Jordan Alvarez. This car is at least worth about five bucks. And this one is probably worth twice that much, at least. Really good condition, guys. So, um, again, let me know what your favorite rookie is. Dog Horse for Rookie of the Year, because this is a rookie theme. And I'm going to be giving away some of these cards at 50 and then maybe something at 100, 150, 200. If I get that much within the season. And, uh, you know, who knows? If you're one of my, you know, longtime subscribers, then too, you might get something sent to you like that. Uh, so, guys, I really appreciate you coming in and viewing this video for the last 15 minutes. Uh, if you could give me a like, subscribe, and comment, what's your favorite Dark Horse candidate for Rookie of the Year? All right, happy card hunting, and I will catch you guys on the next one.